as an animal lover, I often wonder why. Why in Africa can't we keep the lion populations up? Why over in Asia can't we save a tiger? Well, I have to look no further than here in the U.S. The way we treat a cougar, a big predator. Out west, you can legally kill this animal for just a few dollars. Well, here in Florida, our version of it, the Florida Panther, is seen as a highly endangered animal. 2007 has seen a staggering 15 Florida Panthers killed by vehicles this year, the worst year ever on record. So I went down to the southern part of Florida to see just why this was happening. The problem became clear very fast. When you have land that once looked like this, but now looks like this, you can understand why these cats are getting killed on the road. More cougars, less habitat. The adolescent males uh, are looking for territory. Cougars, panthers are, very, are territorial. A male panther needs about 120 square miles of land, a uh, female probably about half that. Too many Florida panthers for too little territory. So these guys are, are uh, trying to find new territory and that's of course where they're getting killed. I'm on State Road 29, two miles south of Panther Pass. This is where panther number 12 was hit of 14 killed by cars this year. It's only a two lane highway but I can see why it was hit. Lots of traffic. Some of the places that had the available land just didn't have the panthers. My name is Debbie Blanco. I'm a, a land manager for Sarasota County Natural Resources and um, my primary area of responsibility is the Carlton Reserve. Carlton Reserve is 24,565 acres. I guess it's possible that we could uh, harbor a male panther, possibly a female panther at one point in um, from 1999 to about 2000. Five, we did have a male panther. Don't know what happened to him. He just disappeared all of a sudden. This is right where panther, the tenth panther, was hit this year. It was a male. Um, we have this chain link fence right here that stops him. Fortunately, he went down all the way to the end and tried to cross where there is no chain link and was hit by a car. After the 1960s, man was no longer allowed to hunt a panther, but we're still sure doing a good job of reducing the numbers. The main reason for this is people. As they drove around, it seemed horrible amounts of construction. Just as many people are moving into these areas of Florida panther habitat. That's the problem that we face here in Florida. There is just no place for these guys to go. Where we live here in Charlotte County, there's going to be a city of 50,000 people on a ranch. It's a 140 square mile ranch, so there's going to be 50,000 people. It's just discouraging that we can't put aside enough land to protect this current population of 8,200 of our own state animal. So what is the future of the Florida panther? Will soon this animal only exist in zoos or in museums? Or will it end up like the alligator? Once thought to be close to extinction, but now you can purchase their heads at any souvenir shop in Florida. The state claims that it costs millions to put up these chain link fence to help protect the panther, or to provide them an underpass, an alternate route for them to cross the road. And of course this only works if the animal itself understands that these are the only areas that they can safely cross the road. As I drove around, it seemed like the land was being used up for everything besides maintaining a habitat for our own state animal. Everywhere I turned there was a sign, available lots here, new store coming up here. The population boom in Florida is out of control. I got sick of seeing all these signs, and on my way home, I decided to hang up a few of my own.